I've been plugging away, working so hard, knitting furiously on all of my Christmas presents, but I did have a nice holiday weekend over the Thanksgiving weekend where we spent some time with family and we did stop at an antique store. So I have a little mini fiber arts thrift haul today. My thrift haul comes in two parts. One of them is this box of free knitting stuff that my mother-in-law brought for me. Um, and the other part is some nice things that I found at a local antique store when we went out to breakfast over the weekend. So, I've got this unassuming little cardboard box, but it's full of treasure. Uh, my mother-in-law found this in a communal room in the community that she lives in, and it was up for grabs. So she took it because she knew that I would enjoy it, and I so do. Thank you so much, Bev. It is much appreciated. I'm so glad you thought of me. These things are so fun. So um, a lot of it is pretty standard, but I did want to show some of the more uh, unique or interesting bits and bobs that came with this set. Or collection, I guess it's just a collection. We of course have my favorites, vintage fixed needles, including most of them are circular nylons, which are absolutely my favorite. This color is my favorite. I have a couple pairs in this color, pink, but I just love them. There's a couple metal pairs in here which aren't as uh, enjoyable to me. I, I don't really like metal needles, but I'll use them if they're the only correct size I have. Um, but I think this is pretty much a staple of every inherited knitting collection, right? It's just these packets of vintage circulars, which are... I, I don't want to undersell them. They're absolutely one of my favorite parts. I, I never stopped growing my collection of vintage circulars because I've said it before, they're a finite resource. I want to hold on to as many of them as I can. Another standard to be expected, the classic Susan Bates Knit Check. I already have an exact clone of this one, but it's really nice to have a second one so that I can just throw it in my travel bag. This little collection did come with a bunch of your standard knitting counters, the ones that kind of just slide onto a needle and are manually rotated. Um, but it came with two in particular that I thought were so interesting. Uh, first of all, this one is kind of made of paper. I've never seen one like this before, but you can kind of fold over the sides and slip your needle in and it's, it's rotated by hand. It's literally just little circles of cardstock, but I think it's so cute and so clever. I'm definitely going to hold on to this. And the other was a version I have never seen before. It's just, you know, your regular old little uh, manual stitch count or row counter, I guess. But let me see if I can find the end. This one has a built in tape measure. It's a little fragile, so I don't want to yank on it too hard. But it has an eight inch ruler that just spools up inside of my little stitch count. How cute is that? I've never seen that. I guess fewer of these have survived than like just the standard kind that don't have the little tape measure. Because like I said, the tape measure is very fragile. It is missing the end. It, it's missing about an eighth of an inch off the end plus whatever wiggle room they usually come with. It also came with a bunch of, you know, well, okay, these are just dowels, but an assortment of aluminum straight needles. There were some DPNs in the mix, not a full set of any. Um, a handful of Susan Bates crochet hooks, just the standard aluminum kind. This one I thought was interesting. It is Susan Bates. It was very long and it's wood, it's solid wood. So it's a US 13. It says 10 inches, it's solid wood. It is from Susan Bates. I just think it's really neat. I've never seen one like this and it would work really well for Tunisian because it's a consistent width all the way down the handle. This fascinates me. This is the longest darning needle I have ever seen. It's kind of comical. I, just, I, I have an idea. Let's see how long it is. Right. 
accounting for the missing quarter inch. It is a five inch long needle. I guess it could be useful for stuff, but it's not like, like a jumbo needle. The eye of the needle isn't that big. You probably couldn't even fit a bulky weight yarn there. It's just so funny. Does anybody seen these before? Are they for a special purpose or is this just an unusually long needle? I also want to show you the handful of stuff that I picked up at the antique store. So, I've gone to this antique store a lot and I've never really found much fiber related stuff there, but today I found quite a bit. I actually didn't even buy everything I found. There was some stuff that I thought was a little steep for what it was. Very tempted by this little like wooden caddy that had teeny tiny drawers that were all just full of stray assorted buttons. It's very hard for me to walk away from something like that. But I did. Each of the drawers was labeled with like, like needles, pins, buttons, snaps. Like it was really cute, but I can't take it all home. I did choose to bring home this little vintage needle case. It's got all or most of the original label still on it. Um, and it doesn't even open. It's really cute. It's got this little hole in the lid and the lid rotates. And then there's numbers along the side for different sizes. So you would go to the size that you need and kind of like tap it out like a little salt shaker. Um, it's so adorable. I got it just to be a display piece, but I really, really like this. I think it's so cute. I found a set with a carrying case of vintage sewing shears. So there's little ones and then there's full, oops, they're kind of slipping out there. A full size set. I haven't tried them yet, but they can definitely be sharpened. They're like proper solid shears. I'm very thrilled about these. And the case is so darn cute. So this is so interesting to me. After we came home from the antique store, I did look it up online and kind of try to understand what it was and how it works. And I'm definitely going to try to actually use it at some point. Again, these cases are half the fun you know these like original leather cases just so cute so this one some of the straps are a little loose so let me try to be a little ginger about it but it's a buttonholer attachment but it's all this really neat analog system where these little uh, like templates are like the width of the button. It's got the measurements on the back so you know and you swap it out inside and then you attach this to the back of your sewing machine and kind of why I want to try it because you know I have a history of like not getting along with the button holder that came on my machine so the solution is definitely to try an old vintage one that's probably 20 times more difficult but I'm so fascinated by it that I'm definitely going to try anyway. It's very interesting. I'm excited to try it. Um, certainly not anytime soon because I've got too much on my plate with all of my gift knitting, but very excited about this one. And it was a bargain, especially compared to some of the other stuff that they have in that store. This was underpriced, I think. Well, maybe not. It, like, when I looked them up on eBay, they were all exactly the same price, but still. This guy, I haven't even properly looked through myself yet. I thought we might look through it together. It's just a plastic sewing pin, clearly one that sat in somebody's house and accrued notions and thread for a very long time. I don't think it's overly stuffed. I think it's mostly thread, but there are some little notions and uh, closures and bits and bobs in here. Didn't even look through them in the store. I just decided to get it. So why don't we sit down and have a look through this one together? Okay. This is so exciting. This is my favorite part like digging through these little tiny treasure chests.
there's a needle in this one. Oh my god, how cute is this? Is this meant to like stand? I think it is. Hold on, now I have to. I love this. I didn't think the box would be my favorite part. Okay, ready. Oh my goodness. And then you. How darn cute is this? Oh my gosh, I love it. Look at it. Let's have a look. Oh, we just got some empty spools in here. Those are cute. Is this more of the same? With the button, there's a secret button inside this. I love, this is so pretty. And someone clearly just loved this package or was attached to this package for some reason because they've kept all the separate little bits even though there's no needles in it. I think I'll probably frame this. It's really pretty. Got some wooden spools. Safety pins. Oh, there's pins in this one. Oof wedged in there a bit. Heat measure, little plastic thimble. Look, they even threw in a strawberry for me. It's like they knew. Not that I can get it out of here. <gasps> oh, so cute. Oh, wait. Well, you know, I was going to put that needle that I pulled out into here, but it looks like I've already lost it. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I would have been looking all over for that thing. Oh my goodness. This is so fun. I suppose I'm going to pull out all of the little pieces of this and put them away with my other notions in the correct spots. But oh look, it's got the packaging. That's so cute. Yeah, I'll probably pull this apart and put all the the different parts away, but I'm definitely going to use this. This is such a cool I, You know, I, when I found it in the store, I bought it because, like, like I said, I love buying a little treasure chest and digging through at home, but I didn't realize that the chest itself was so neat. I hope you enjoyed our quick little uh, antiquing jaunt today. I had a lot of fun picking these out and digging through it for the first time. I'm glad that I waited to do it on camera, even though I really, really wanted to do it the day that I brought it home. Um, this was a lot of fun. I think all in all, I don't remember exactly how much I spent because my husband got a couple of things at the antique store too, but you know, I'll put it up on the screen for you. Um, obviously the box of knitting supplies I didn't pay anything for because it was um, passed on from somebody who was just looking to rehome her knitting uh, paraphernalia. But um, the four items that I bought at the antique store were the only purchase involved here. And I'm really glad that I found them. Um, thanks for hanging out today and taking a look at what I got. I hope to do more videos like this in the future. Let me know if this is the type of content that you're here for, or are you here for the knitting? If you are, I've got a lot of that coming up too. Um, but anyway, for today, 
I think this is enough. Thanks for sticking around and give the video a like if you liked it. And I will see you not too long in the future with some Christmas finished objects. Bye.